Welcome to our tutorial for Sequence Studio 2 version 0.9. In this video we're going to go through how to create a simple drum loop. We start by creating a new pattern. You can create as many patterns as you want. If you press and hold the pattern button it will bring up the settings for that pattern, where we can remove unwanted patterns. Let's rename this pattern to drums. If we select this pattern and click the pen tool, we can place references in the track area. If we create a new pattern and select it, you will notice that the new pattern will be referenced in the track area instead. Let's push the pointer tool, which will allow us to select a reference with a click, and click again to deselect. The patterns in the axis area will light up when the references are selected. To deselect all, hit the pen tool. We hit the pen tool once more to go back to the pan and zoom mode. Let's start editing the drum pattern. When we select a reference, we get a handy shortcut to the piano room. This is the same as selecting the pattern and browsing through the room overview and clicking the piano room. From the access area, we can change the active pattern directly. If we try and play right now, we notice that we don't get a drum sound. So let's go to the pattern room. where we can select the audio sampler synth and click the replace open button. This will give us the sample editor where you can assign your own audio samples to the piano keys below. The audio sampler will get a tutorial later. For now, we can push the preset button in the top left to access a few pre-made sampler synths. Let's pick trans drums. If we scroll the piano view, we can find the tiny C markers that represent a sound sample. The markers will look better in a future version. Let's go back to the piano room. At the moment we don't have any way of displaying where the different samples are, but the drums are always on the bottom. We can click the beat snap button down here to change the snap distance between notes. Now we can click and drag to place a note on this key, and if we click multiple times in a row, it will continue to use the same length as the previous note. To select the notes, we use the pointer tool, which can be dragged into a selection square. Then we move them to a different key using the move tool. Let's double click the pen to deselect and allow us to pan and scroll once more. We'll add a few simple drum notes to fill out the pattern. We can see the looping drums from the track room. Let's continue with this pattern. Now we make sure that we have the pattern selected as well as the same synth as we used before, because we still want to use the drums. And with that, we have a simple drum beat. For the most recent news, please follow us on Instagram or subscribe to our YouTube channel. To download Sequence Studio or C-Sync, visit our website in the description below.